Susan, quite frankly, it's hard to keep track of these lawsuits at this point as the Trump campaign is suing Pennsylvania on several issues. But we have one development here. One of the lawsuits is about having access for observers where the ballots are being processed and counted, namely in Philadelphia. Within the last hour, the Commonwealth Court reversed itself on this issue, saying it will now allow observers to get closer and watch those ballots being counted assuming that will mean people from both Canada or from both parties. It's believed the Trump campaign will also be taking legal action to review those ballots in Philadelphia that have already been counted there. The governor and the secretary of state won't comment on the litigation, but did say this. In Pennsylvania, every vote is going to count. I'm going to fight like hell to protect the vote of every Pennsylvanian. There are other legal actions that I'm watching today. The campaign also wants to intervene on the Supreme Court case that we've been telling you about. This is the one that involves the deadline for receiving mail-in ballots that has been extended by three days until Friday of this week. And another lawsuit seeks to dismiss a directive allowing voters to provide missing proof of identification in Pennsylvania up to six days after the election. That one is still pending. And this is just in Pennsylvania. Lawsuits are being filed by the Trump campaign, of course, as you just heard in many other states. Brian Roach, WGAL News 8.